My father-in-law, Reb Shimon Mendel Ola Basholim, had a stroke 20 years ago and couldn't work anymore. So he started learning every day for a few hours with his Chavruse, Harav Yoel Dweck. He very much looked forward to his learning session every single day. When he met my children that were in yeshiva in Koilal, he told them, please learn as much as you can and don't waste a minute. When he made a siyam on Masech des Boches, he was on a high. And he said to the siyam that he's looking forward to the day when he'll make a siyam on the entire shas. My father-in-law has been honored tonight and he would love to see how everyone in attendance would support the koilal generously. The koilal that he so much loved and cherished. One of the people being recognized tonight is Rav Shmuel Duver Dreichik, and it is him that I'm going to be speaking about. Rav Shmuel David Dreichik, the Rosh Tevis is Shadar. His full name was Rav Menachem Shmuel David, but he was Shmuel David was how he was called. Shadar is also a Rosh Tevis Shlucha de Rabona, that he was an emissary of the Rabbonim, of the Rebbes, the Friedrich Rebbe sent him to California in 1949, and the Rebbe, our Rebbe, continued that shlichus um, for the balance of their lives. Reb Shmuel David was poshet e oyev Yisro. He cared for people, he cared for their ruchnius, no less than he cared for their gashmius. He was as concerned to put on tefillin with a yid who didn't put on tefillin as he was to help a yid who needed to find a job, to help him find a job. He didn't discriminate between levels of religiosity. He just wanted yidin to be better and more connected to the Eibishter, to Torah, and to Yiddishkeit. This was the kind of person that Rabbi Reichik was. He cared, he cared, he had Avas Yisro, Avas Hashem, Avas HaTorah, but in him it was all intertwined, and he didn't distinguish. He was always working, didn't think much about himself, he just thought about the cause.